I'd love to know um, some of the stuff. Like, I mean, we talked about like you're the voice and all of that stuff. You know, the 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 current new hotness is AI. Obviously, every yeah. everybody, everything. The amount of conversations in literally like three hours that I have, where somebody drops the word AI seventeen times, it's. <laughs> It's clearly on top of a lot of people's yeah. minds, right? You look at the stock market, that's telling you that too, <laughs> whatever. What are your thoughts? Where, where Do you have any plans? Where are you guys going with this? I think, so when it comes to AI, there's already some, the, the community is experimenting, right? And I think Home Assistant is the only platform for your smart home where people can experiment with AI. If you look at Google, Apple, Amazon, mm-hmm. Samsung, these are closed down ecosystems. How are you going to AI with it, right? And you have to wait for them to launch their AI features, but then you're not paying for them, those platforms. So are they going to offer you like all these free AI features? I don't think so. So yeah. what we see in Home Assistant is that people can just plug in like OpenAI, ChatGPT with their own API token. And then sure, you pay for what you use, but you have it under control. You can see what you're doing. So I think that we are set up better um, as a platform. We do want to expand that, uh, how well we are set up. So right now, just as a platform, we're easier to access, but we actually want to make it easier to run large language models inside Home Assistant uh, with Home Assistant data, integrate into Home Assistant features. There's a really cool custom uh, component. I'm not sure if you've seen it. It's called Extended OpenAI Conversation. So they've yep. taken the OpenAI conversation from Home Assistant, but they've added Home Assistant API access to it. So it means that ChatGPT4 can actually query your area, see which devices you have, and you can start chaining commands. You can say, oh, it's a little bit cold here, and please tell me a joke. And it will increase your thermostat and tell you a joke, right? Like it's yeah. just, it just works. And it, yeah. it, it's fascinating, but on the other hand, it's also very slow. So, yeah. you know, we just talked about how Whisper takes eight seconds and that that's actually unacceptable. Well, a large language model can be even slower, right? Especially with large uh, responses yeah. being generated. And that's just not very useful. So where I think AI can really shine for Home Assistant is more agents that are running. So you give yeah. an AI a certain task and have it hook into Home Assistant one way or the other. And so that's something that we're looking into. So we haven't written a line of code yet, but it's something that, yeah, how would that work? And I think that the the thing here that is very interesting to see is that if you, we we, we generally work with the Google model and with, uh, you know, the Gemini nowadays it's called and uh, mm-hmm. OpenAI ChatGPT, but those are metered connections. And what you actually want when you're doing AI is that you shouldn't have to think about how much it costs to run this one query. You just want to run queries all the time and all the time. So maybe the future will be local, doing local AI stuff. So this is still like very much in the explorative phase, but it's definitely coming. Um, I wouldn't say year of the AI just because... AI is really cool, and I definitely want to make sure that we are a great platform for people to play with it. I also realize that AI is not for everyone because it just costs yeah. serious money, right? Like, if you run yeah. it at home, you need like at least a thousand dollars invested in like video cards, right? Which yeah. you can use only for large language models. Which, if you're a nerd, you're a hobbyist, you want to play with this stuff, you can consider it. But if you just want to, you know automate your house and then be on, go on with your life. You, this is not an option yet. Yeah. So we definitely, we're working on a lot of bunch of other stuff too, besides AI. That's why like, this is like one of the things, but yeah, there's going to be some AI stuff. I just don't have, besides API access for large language models, which is definitely going to land in Home Assistant. I don't have anything to share yet. No, oh, that's fair. It's, but, but you guys are thinking about it and you know, yes. Yeah. It's it's not it's not put off to the side and be like no no we don't want to we don't want to deal no with no no and it's you know we I had yeah. a call with Nvidia for example and they had some people that it, this is by the way this is super funny it's just in every company in every field and everything that we touch they're just home assistant users right yeah. and so yeah. you know I talk to you know I get in touch with Nvidia and they're like yeah we have a 
a couple of the people on our team use Home Assistant. And so yeah. we saw that you were looking into this and we have some ideas that we would like to share. And it's like, oh, cool. Yeah. Like this is actually generally useful. Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah. It's I, And same, right? Like, I mean, I get pings all the time. Be like, hey, wait, are you are you the Rohan that does a podcast? And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's the same line, right? It, it's, uh, it's pretty yeah. cool. It's uh, it's fun seeing how many users there are and how big the community is and stuff like that. It, yeah. it, is, it is honestly amazing. But 